Sing Sing. Hey, that's right, folks. It is coming up to the fall season, which means a couple of things. We're going to be getting a lot more of the prestigious films coming to cinemas, and that means we're going to be getting a lot more of like the prestigious films coming to this channel, which is never a bad thing. I love award season. I know that's like such like a broad brush to paint this movie with. Like, oh, we're only talking about it because it's gonna go into awards contention. Look, I I wanted to talk about this film no matter what. The fact that it is getting a lot of acclaim doesn't hurt me talking about it, and the fact that there's a lot to talk about doesn't hurt me talking about it. I love award stuff. I personally, before we get into the review. I personally think this is going to get a lot of Academy recognition or just awards recognition across the board. Critic stuff I could 100% see from the two main characters in particular. And I, I think even director. I think we're going to see some stuff going for uh, Greg Gwedder. Gwader? Quader? I'm not sure you'd say their name. Quedar? Yeah, I think we're going to see some cool stuff. So it's Sing Sing. You might be familiar with this movie. Maybe or not. It got a lot of, you know recognition when it started to like premiere last year and now we have distribution for it so we can talk about it this is the new film starring coleman domingo who is just having an incredible rise to power i think he had a late blossoming when it came to his career he got an oscar nomination this year for rustin and he'll probably get one again for sing sing and it's earned. This is a movie about Sing Sing, the maximum security prison. You are probably familiar with that, maybe you're not. But more than that, it is kind of about prison reform and how you can express yourself through the arts within a prison confine. And that is a very specific topic that not many movies would touch upon because in society at large, I think we tend to want to view prison through a very specific lens. And I think it becomes very hard to want to dive into that topic and have it be more uplifting than it is kind of like dreadful. I don't know anything about prison or going to prison or the experience of that at all. I don't know what that's like, but I can't imagine it's a harsh reality for you where you are just confined to a space and confined to limitations. And it's going to be challenging to escape that, I think both mentally and emotionally and this movie is about this theater program within the walls of Sing Sing created by both people outside of prison walls and people that are in the prison and how they use this to express themselves or just feel a different ounce of normalcy that's a really cool concept and something that's kind of beautiful and like inspiring to think about it's so unique and that really benefits this movie where you just you're going to the situation where you're like, oh, look at these guys just finding the camaraderie, being themselves, but they're all playing parts. And it's like just the escape that they wanted or just like the reality that they think this could be. And that's a really beautiful thing to see. I like every performance. Now, there's a lot of actors in this movie that are playing themselves. That's how they are listed in the credits. I know, I don't know how many of the actors or people were prisoners beforehand. I know there are a few in the cast that have history in prison and that kind of makes it more special where like these guys learned from this experience and they're like we can use what we've been through to talk about this stuff in a very beautiful way i think that's really cool there is not a single performance in here that sucks every single performance every single character every single person we meet has depth and agency and is worth exploring and it's just so incredible I really dig it, like just everything going on with like the side characters to everybody in the stage production, to the actor that is playing the director of the play. It is just people aware of what we're doing and giving themselves the moment to breathe and to really feel stuff here. It's really cool. It feels like real guys. Everyone here feels like a real guy and just have very distinctive looks that you would I don't know, maybe maybe see as somebody who would have been in prison or have a history of being viewed societally a specific way. And having those guys want to recite Shakespeare, want to dress up and 
fight each other with swords or just experience something where they're being applauded for their, you know, charisma and compassion on stage. Like, that's really cool. And just behind the camera, too, you have a director and a cinematographer and a crew that's like, we're going to make this look beautiful. It has very good and monotone lighting where everything is both, you know, clean, but it feels very isolating. It is so stiff in its lighting where you're just like, this is a lot of one color. We're seeing the sunlight just rising through this sequence. When we go outside, it does feel a more like lively and impactful. And that makes it really cool. And we have a lot, a lot of long takes. My goodness, just when you think the camera's gonna cut, it doesn't, it doesn't cut. And I'm like, this is incredible. I really like the flow of this thing because it makes it feel real. And that's the whole point of this. These are guys that are aware of this situation. So if we make it feel more real, the longer the takes are, the more we do that. It's really incredible. It's very funny as well. The jokes work. Everything they're doing lands perfectly. It is the perfect blend of this. It's the type of story you don't see a lot in film with actors you're not too familiar with and people portraying themselves in a way that you've never seen before with a director aware like we want to present prison in a different way. We know how people present theater, but these are guys you're not going to see normally in like a theater setting. What are they going to do? How are they going to handle that? How are they going to want to perceive themselves in that light? And that's a really cool thing to see. And as somebody who has no idea what goes on in prison, I think this would be like a very healthy and positive thing to do within like the confines of that structure because it allows you to truly let loose and maybe that's more cathartic than therapy in some essence so i think that's awesome i love everything about this but clearly the standouts are the two performances i think the performances everyone's talking about clarence macklin uh he is the guy that plays divine eyes kind of the supporting he does kind of like get bumped up to i guess like co-lead at times but he's definitely like the supporting lead and he is somebody who's been to prison, I do believe, and has talked about that. And that's kind of like why he's a part of this, because I think he's a producer on this, too. I mean, it's incredible. Like, this is a very earnest and honest guy who is just like, I'm going to put on, you know, the mask when I'm not in this situation. But when I'm on stage, it's when I'm truly myself, a truly beautiful powerful performance that you just love and everything that goes on with that character is genuinely interesting genuinely cool to see i really dig what they do with that macklin just does incredible it's a very fun performance that is going to get a lot of recognition even if it's not you know awards recognition that is a performance where you're like this guy's got it whatever it is this guy's got it same with Coleman Domingo. And look, we've talked about him endlessly. I love this guy. I think he is fantastic. And this is the performance that's really going to put him on people's radar, if you weren't already. It's powerful. It does get angry. It does get very sad. The last few minutes with him are some of the most uplifting and beautiful I've seen an actor do in a long time. It is truly spectacular. And very, very incredible it's a really strong thing i have been thinking about this movie since i saw it i just think the way it's presenting itself the way it's talking about this story it is so nice and earnest and has so much ideas to say about masculinity and emotion and how we express our emotion the power of theater the way that we treat prison itself it's a really good mixture of all that and it's truly about something it's an incredible film if it's playing near you it looks great and it is definitely worth the price of admission so sing sing i am going to give a nine out of ten now thank you all for watching this review be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as always you can check me out on instagram tiktok and twitter and of course i will catch you in the next one have fun stay safe good luck